Notre Dame defense. On second and five. Hampton looks to the air. Pass complete. And in the clear is Brown. And no one is going to catch him. 83 yards. Touchdown, Huskies. Yards to give the Huskies the lead. Snap good. Hold good. Kick good. Wow. Wind, but this is an awful lot to ask. Mitch Jeter. And that's blocked at the slide of scrimmage. And the Huskies are celebrating the biggest upset in their school's history. Clearly a point of emphasis. And ideally, it ends now for Kentucky with a touchdown. And it will. Dane Key beat Amos in coverage for the Kentucky touchdown. Back, Demi Sumo Karnbe. Watch this block that he initiates against Jared Ivey. I mean, just full play action, forces Vandegrift to move just a little bit. Man, that was a great block by the running back. It's been kind of the running game all throughout the first half. Wimsett keeps it following Sumo Karn Bay. And the ball comes out into the end zone. And it's recovered for a touchdown by Josh Caddis. Some good fortune here. Right place, right time. After Wimsett was stripped of the ball by Trey Washington. And Washington hits that helmet right on the football. And the ball pops up right into the awaiting arms of Josh Caddis. I mean, goodness gracious, the chaos. Short, the snapper. They do their job. That kick is no good. A low duck hook. Take a look at the snap. Perfect snap. Holds good. And he just hooks it left. From distance on the right hash. Knew it immediately with the reaction. It's asking a lot for your kicker to kick a game time field goal from 49. Some mustard on that snap. Milro near side. Batted up and it is intercepted. Fontenet to the corner. He's in. And Bandy's got a two score lead on a 28 yard interception return by Randon Fontenet. Three on fourth down this year. Pavia wants to throw. He goes down the middle. It is caught. Touchdown. Vanderbilt and Junior Cheryl. Got Alexander next to him. Little replay. Pavia throws. Touchdown. Vanderbilt. Cadron Johnson with the catch, and Vandy extends its lead. The master of manipulation off the play fake to Cameron Johnson. First and ten for Pavia. He hands it off. Big room left side and a first down for the Commodores. Pavia keeps it. Pavia picks up the first down and the unlikeliest of heroes has guided Vanderbilt to what will be its first ever win against number one. And what an investment they've made in Diego Pavia. This attitude, this program, and the biggest win on the West End. Vanderbilt takes down number one, Alabama. Figgles to see the football again. First down carry, and it's a touchdown for Arkansas. What a response by this offense. He marched it 75 yards in eight plays to cut into this lead. Big defensive tackle. 90s right there. He has a chance. Again, it's the elbow. That... And off inside. Russell. No, oh, on the outside. Touchdown. Singleton keeps it and scores. Malachi Singleton off the bench has put Arkansas in front from 11 yards. Uh, you can you watch the Tennessee defense, and I'm not blaming them. I think it's a genius move by 
by a high point. It's the AT&T clicker. He fakes it. Look, by the way, if he handed it to him, he walks in. So that way he would have scored. Now let's watch the quarterback. Watch this guy right here. You tell me they're trying to stop him. There you go. Let's go this way. There you go. Touchdown. Different coaches approach that differently. Yamaliaba. This is going to be the last play of the game. Scrambles and is shoved out of bounds. No time left. Arkansas pulls the upset. Morton to throw on second and long. And floats it deep downfield. Wide open as Josh Kelly walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas Tech. Morton to the end zone for Kelly, and he hauls it in. Touchdown. Penalty Meyers next to him. Yep. Direct snap. Brooks to the end zone. Touchdown. Texas Tech has the lead over unbeaten Iowa State with 19 seconds left. Watch him set this edge and spring Taj Brooks to the perimeter. Just an excellent job getting into Darian Porter, the corner. Probably not going to get enough yardage anyway but they do throw it over the middle here's the pitch to Higgins throws it back Noel and then his pass hits the ground it goes through the legs of Beck and it is out of bounds and the game is over Texas Tech pulls the upset in Ames the Cyclones are unbeaten no more Screen, Rutherford, hoping for a tunnel. Goal line, is he in? Touchdown! Malik Rutherford puts Georgia Tech on top. Kiko Maui Noah couldn't bring him down. Just see the left side of the Georgia Tech offensive line just getting out and getting in the way, getting bodies on bodies, and Malik Rutherford, we've set eight different players that have carried the football today in a big third down. And a lob to the end zone. It's a 50-50 ball for Chase Lane. He's got it for the touchdown. Ains King. Touchdown. Touchdown. I give you credit on one play, Chase Smith. You come back next time and you get out flank. You see him right there. He ducked it. Only a three-man rush. The pocket collapsing though. Ward buying time. Hit from behind. The ball pops out. Georgia Tech's got it. Romello Height with the strip sack. Singleton. Daniels on the roll, throws, and it's complete down the sideline to Mosley. A lot of room to run. He's going to get in the end zone. Touchdown! 62 yards! Complimentary football. That's Mosley's second touchdown of the season. And Daniels hit as he throws, and then Mosley had a lot of green grass in front of him. Bachmeyer helped him out targets for him and they're looking his way and Tony's wide open for the touchdown right on cue didn't have a catch yet but he had a big one right there yeah this is a great job by Ashton Daniels let's see what he does and just like you called it partner they went for dos Daniels Pocket closing over the middle. Touchdown! Evan Mosley, another touchdown. Mosley on the crosser in the back. Lamson, he's going to go to the air. Takes a hit, throws it up. It's caught for a touchdown. Evan Mosley, his third score of the game. But for me, George, this Stanford team has played tough. All different guys have stepped up at big time moments. Justin Lamson taking a huge hit. Emmett Mosley has been sensational today. I would have tried to end in the regulation.
Brock Travelstead, their kicker, their, his longest season of 56. Shuck to the sideline, complete. Bell makes a man miss, and out of bounds near the 45-yard line. Brandon Nicholson, the true freshman. The kick is up. run him even though he does have that hamstring issue straight back to pass corner of the end zone badger touchdown and mistakes like that they dump it in the right flat jd ball fires a cut back lane in the alleyway to the end zone for a gators touchdown dk in motion they go wildcat montrell johnson to the five Gators touchdown! A play. You run to the bubble, you give the defense trouble, and this time they go with a picture perfect power out of Wildcat. Big number 77, Harris gets out and around. Four man rush. Guard. Side arms one down the sideline. That one is going to be picked. Another miscommunication with Juice Wells. And Bryce Thornton does it again. will suffer a similar fate this week as DJ Lagway takes a knee and checks it. Pancake block on the edge, sprung him around the end. Robinson takes a tackle. Xavier Robinson headed to the pylon, dives, lost the ball. They signal touchdown. 18 yards of Oklahoma. And the ball because it goes through the end zone. He's good right there. Right there, it's secure. Then it comes out of his hand, which would have been a touchback. You can see clearly he has it. It was really close, but he does have possession of that football for the touchdown. Three receivers bunched right, and they pitch it. That area, Dagger's throw, intercepted. Eli Bowen, the true freshman, swipes it as Milrow. Throws his first pick in the last four games, and this one could be crucial. You got three receivers. It's showing you two. They got three receivers. They think they've got numbers. He jumped that route, and by jumping the route, he put himself in position to be able to come up with that acrobat interception. But look at this. He's, he, he got around with a really poor effort by Kobe Prentice. Under center. Pitch on the edge to Robinson. Makes a cut. Touchdown, Oklahoma. A stunner brewing in Norman. Freshman season here at five foot nine. His pick put him in position. And then the unheralded back. tackles for loss. A big part of this defense's success all season long. It's another pick in the flat. Kip Lewis. Milroy can't get him. Pick six. Oklahoma building the lead. Wow. Looks like he may be able to get it out there. See Lewis kind of stalking, reading the eyes of his quarter, the quarterback before he stepped in front and had that interception. 21 is the margin now in Norman. Quick. They're already coming out. They're already coming out on this field here. Another premature field rush. Goalposts are down. Let's see if we get people tackled here by the security. You know, they, they, they had to clear people off after a 13-minute delay. In the face of Will Howard. Third down and nine at the full. Howard throwing out of his own end zone. And it's picked up. Down the sideline. Michigan has it. Power formation again. Mullings. Touchdown Wolverines. Michigan capitalizing off the Will Howard interception. To take a 6-3 lead on the road here. Warren can't turn it over. They'll hand it off. And look at the second effort. Mullings down the sideline, out of bounds. Good snap. Clean hole, got it up, and good. Zavada, two field goals, including the game-winning 21-yarder. And the Wolverines win it. 13 to 10. Goal. Payne is the motion man. It's a give to Allen. And Allen goes spinning. Wow! Touchdown! Kyle McCoy.
court. Watts Meeks. Enzo got it. Touchdown. Bounds. This time he keeps it in bounds. But what a job by Jackson Meeks at 6'2. They also play basketball inside. From the 25. McCord. Pena again. Pena makes the catch. And Syracuse is confident. 39 second drive to tie. It's all about the double move. You get here, little stop and start, and then get to the end zone, get to create the separation. That's Daryl Porter, number two. He's in the secondary play, but it's just that little hitch to the inside and got Crippel's name in a while. That's where they're going. On a screen, Xavier Restrepo fumbled the football. Devin Gray, it's off to the races. War to beat. Scoop and score. Momentum swings on both sides here at the Dome. Well, it's the trifecta for Devin Grant. You get the forced fumble, you get the recovery, and the peanut, first of all, the peanut Tillman punch. So you get the forced fumble, the recovery, and then the touchdown. Now, I think these officials are looking at the foot. That Allen, touchdown! Syracuse leads. Now took over here for Dino Babers. They're looking for a huge win. Trevor Pena turns it upfield and might have just ended it. First down, Syracuse, Trevor Pena for the Orange. They went with the jet sweep. Caught all of the Miami defenders off guard. They're all packed in, trying to stop LaQuinn Allen and Pena. Expect them at Syracuse. A stunner at Syracuse. The Orange come from 21 down and take down Miami. Scoring offense in FBS averaging just 13 points per game. But they look like a machine right now. That's going to go to the house. Touchdown Owls. Christian Moss got it and gone. It's fantastic. Classic RPO and UC number 16, Quentin Reese. He has to respect that run action. But what it does is open. Ashley, success, touchdown, up the gut for the Owls who retake the lead. Davis Bryson leading the way, and Ashley finishes it off. And a fantastic block there by tight end Carson Kent. This is the split. Bryce Robinson to snap, the hold from Jacob Ulrich, and the boot is good for Austin Welsh. Liberty has a very aggressive Field goal block you and you see Dexter Ricks Jr. Number 20 coming off the edge. You see guys jumping over. Here it is. Salter throws it in the flat and let the games begin. Flip down, tackle down, ball on the turf, ball blown dead. Celebration part two for win number one. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna play coverage? They only rush four. Chuck out of the pocket. He's gonna run for it. Tries to get in there. Quick snap. Deion Brown with a push at the goal line. He's in. Another Louisville touchdown. We'll be desperate for a takeaway. And they're not going to take it away. They're not even going to stop the run game. Padding the lead. Isaac Brown. Touchdown. Isaac Brown. Just follow it. Just watch the hat on the hat. Watch how everyone sustains their block at the point of attack. It's perfect. It's the perfectly blocked play. All he has to do is run. After a win like Especially. that. Especially. Play action. Fabio steps up. Throws on the run. Wide open. Touchdown. Vanderbilt. A.J. Newberry. Pavia shake and a bake redirects and finds a receiver wide open after a little puff bake. Tell you what, sure looks a lot like another number two that has some hardware sitting in his house right now.
on third down. Hobby on the rollout. Fires. Caught to the pylon and in. Touchdown, Richie Hoskins. 18 yard strike. Hoskins' second target this drive. to the field and I love what he does right here he attacks this leverage to get Hoskins to go or excuse me children just go this way and then he's got a wheel around so he crosses him up here watch what he does right here bam and a great job creating that separation attacking the leverage using his body angle and where his chest was against him with the route created the separation on the outside and a great job to finish it off with the pilot you know at first blush oh eight to play Catch one timeout. Got to get the fourth down. And the receiver slip. It ends up with C.J. Taylor. Macklin lost his footing. And Vanderbilt's going to get back-to-back -back SEC wins to build on their huge upset against Alabama really last field. week. Interception by the defense. First down, Vanderbilt. Second pick of the season for Taylor. That came up fourth down. Clark Lee. Chris to the end zone. Caught for a touchdown by Devin Williams. Top of the 5'10", Lamarian James, who's reaching, perfectly thrown ball by Chris. Here's the toss. Reaching, and Rayshon Sanford is in for six. Fighting through blocks, breaking tackles, and finally ending up in at least. You're down 11. Hoover lost the football. It's loose. Live ball. Batten covers it up, and that'll seal it. It stays rolled a fumble. Then Rolling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. First down, Houston. And it'll do it with no timeout.